Hey everyone, Midlife Sniper here. Welcome to another video. In today's video, I want to talk about PC audio quality and how you can use Voice Meter Banana to step up your audio game, not only on your mic, but also your headphones. So let's get started. Okay guys, so for my setup, I use a Motu M4 audio interface, which is basically a pro audio uh, recording interface that a lot of musicians and such would use to record themselves. Um, I've got a Rode Procaster dynamic mic plugged into the Motu M4, um, and then my headphones, I listen to my headphones through the Motu M4 also. So basically I'm getting, you know, the Motu M4 goes straight into the computer, uh, no kind of processing, anything like that. So the sound that I hear in my headphones is basically a flat sound. So there's no EQing to it. So whatever the sound sounded like to the people that created it, that's what it sounds like. Uh, and also the same for my mic. So there's absolutely no EQing on the mic or anything like that using this setup. Another challenge that I faced was that with using this setup, uh, you know, a lot of audio interfaces, they have a mic one, mic two input. And I use the mic one input, which is the left side. The mic two is the right side. So my microphone only comes through on the left side. So uh, basically I'm gonna show you guys how to use voice meter banana to, to solve the issue of your microphone being on one side, if this is the kind of setup that you use, and to generally just be able to EQ the sound that you hear and also your mic. So uh, I've made a little diagram. Let me open it up here. Okay, so this is the basic setup that I have. So basically this piece right here, this first little section on the left. So I've got a separate headphone and mic plugged into the interface. The interface goes straight into the PC. So this is the kind of setup that I got. A lot of you guys may have something similar to that, or you may have this middle part here where it's a separate headphones and then like a USB mic, like this uh, HyperX mic that plugs straight into the PC via USB and then your headphones may plug into the uh, mic input. And then lastly, some of you guys may have just a gaming headset such as this Logitech that just plugs into the PC, whether it be wired or wireless, either way, it doesn't really matter. Um, so this is how it works. So basically these just go straight into the PC. You're hearing just raw audio, just the way that everything sounds. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to use voice meter banana, which basically me pull up this other picture. So now with voice meter banana, this is what you're going to get. So basically for my setup, my headphones and my mic go into the audio interface. Then that goes into voice meter banana. And then from voice meter banana goes to the PC. Now you don't install it in between there. I mean, that's, this is just a, for graphical purposes, but. Uh, basically, this is how it's going to work. It's going to go from my devices to voice meter and then from voice meter to the PC. Same if you have a USB mic here in the middle. Uh, and then same if, lastly, you know, on the end here, if you've got a gaming headset, it's going to be the same way. So basically, once you download and install this, I'm going to show you guys what kind of settings you need to use to make this happen. And then I'll show you what I use, uh, how I EQ my stuff and how, you know, just some different settings that I use to make my stuff sound better. So here's voice meter. So first of all, once you go to, you can just Google voice meter banana. Uh, it'll take you to their website. And then up at the top, you've got some different ones. You've got virtual audio cable, voice meter, voice meter banana, voice meter potato. Voice meter potato is like voice meter banana, but it's humongous. You probably won't need that if you're just doing like gaming and content creation and things like that. So I would suggest just getting voice meter banana. Just scroll down and just download it. Now this is a uh, uh, donationware, so basically, like you can download it. You're free to use it. Um, they ask for a donation if you use it. So if you like it, then I would say use it. Uh, send them a donation. Okay, so once you have it installed and ready to go, uh, you're gonna want to go to your sound settings. So I right-click the little speaker, go to open sound settings. Uh, now over on the right, it says sound control panel. I'm gonna open that up. So that opens up this little box that says playback, recording, sounds, and communications up at the top. So when I first installed my audio equipment, uh, on the playback tab, my original uh, thing that was selected as the output is my out one and two Motu M series. So that's what I originally had. So that's gonna send the raw audio straight to the Motu, which is what I hear in my headphones. So instead of doing that, we want to send that to voice meter. So I'm gonna set voice meter aux input as my default device. 
So now the computer's sending the audio information to voice meter instead of sending it straight to my audio interface. So on the next tab, the recording tab, um, it used to say N1 and 2 Mo2 M series was my input. Now I've got it set to voice meter output. It's the VB audio voice meter VIO default device. I got that set as default device and default communication device. Uh, you can right click and just set it as default device and then you can right click and also set it as default communication device. So now instead of my mic going from the audio interface straight into the computer, now my mic goes from the audio interface into voice meter. Okay, so now that we've told the computer to receive the microphone signal from voice meter and to send the audio to voice meter, now we need to tell voice meter what to do with it. So for voice meter, we want voice meter hardware input one to be the physical microphone. So that's my Mo2. I'm just using WDM N1 and 2 Mo2 M series. So that's basically my microphone coming in. And then for the output, uh, I want the output from voice meter, which is the sound coming from the computer to go to my audio interface. So I'm gonna go to output right here, A1. That's over here, I'm gonna select Osseo Mo2 M series, which Osseo is just the preferred driver for my particular device. Yours may have something different, but uh, yours may be WDM or MME. Um, but, but for mine, I'm using Osseo. So now, that basically says, okay, now all the stuff coming in is going to A1. So all the sound coming in is going to A1, which is the output of my headphones. Okay, so if I wanted to hear my mic, I could actually turn it on right here, click this A1, and I'd be able to hear my mic through my headphones. Now there's gonna be a bit of a delay, so I usually don't do that. Um, I use hardware monitoring through my device, which it has a direct monitor feature. Um, so instead of doing that, that's what I use. Um, so for whatever reason, voice meter is set up with physical inputs and also software outputs. This, I'm sorry, physical outputs and software virtual outputs. So we need to send the signal from the microphone to the virtual output. So I use B1. So right here you want to select B1 and that basically sends it to this channel right here which we can now make mono. So this is the channel that I made mono. My microphone coming in over here is only on the left side, but by the time it sends it over here, it changes it to mono. I've got mono selected. Now, another thing that I have selected is EQ. So the beauty of this is you can actually EQ the way your mic sounds. So if you right click the EQ, now you can see right here, I've got a little EQ running with, uh, I've got a high pass filter. So basically it rolls off the bass, and so I don't get any like, uh, desk hits and things like that that would cause like a, a, a deep thump or whatever it kind of cuts that out and then I can also presence boost around 2000 is what I do on here uh, I got about a decibel and a half of presence boost at about 2000 so that's a nice little way you can EQ if you needed more highs you could put highs in it if you needed you know more lows you could put more lows in it whatever you needed to do here you could do it voice meter also has right here they've got this other little panel where you can uh, play with the slider so if I move it here you can hear how it gets the lows get a lot lower if you move it here it gets high you know puts more highs I usually run mine about right here and it sounds good um, another thing you can do right here on your mic channel is you can uh, run a gate I use about 2.5 you can also use a compressor which compresses the peaks and raises the low spots now you got to be real careful with voice meters compressor it's not that great I usually use like 0.3 and that that's plenty. That's enough. Anything more than that just seems to cause a problem. It makes the your background noise way too loud for some reason. Um, so that's pretty much it. So once you get all that set up, you should be able to uh, uh, EQ your mic so you can make your mic sound better. Now, as far as like uh, the sounds that you hear, that's going to come through A1. So that's this channel right here. So this is gonna be the sound that you hear. So if you wanna play with the EQ on that, I'm gonna right click the EQ. You can see what I've got here. I've got some extra bass in there. Um, I've got some mids in there, about 800. I've got boosted 1.5, um, 2000. I've got a little bit of a bump at 2000. Um, and then I've got about a decibel and a half of uh, some highs put in there just to kind of make things sound better because like I said when with my interface hooked straight to the computer it sounds good but it just doesn't 
sound the way that I want. It needs a little extra something there. So uh, that's pretty much what I do there. So that's it. Once you get that set up, um, it should be working for you. Um, you know, if, if you have any questions, you can leave comments and uh, I'll try to answer the best that I can or help you guys as much as I can. Uh, you can just reach out to me through the com through the comments. And uh, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to share my setup with you guys. And uh, hopefully you got some value out of this video. Uh, if you did, consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up and uh, check back for more videos in the future. Thanks, guys.